Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively. PDP show. You will know that um, PDP in, was initiated by a group called the G39, G9. They are the original founding fathers of PDP. And Senator Yocha Ayu is one of those people. So he embodies what PDP is about. He embodies the reason why someone like myself, a young man, uh, came back to Nigeria from the UK after getting my law degree and felt that the PDP was a party that I needed to be part of. So if you remember, I sort of not thought about uh, running for the Office of National Publicity Secretary during this last convention, but because of the zoning, it was zoned to the southwest. And in the larger interests of Nigeria, I remain in the party and I still stand with the party's decision. I, I see this NWC as composed as the future Nigeria deserves. Senator Yota, are you? I have never met him before, but I have heard of him. I am confident that PDP has the kind of leadership. And if you kind of leadership it, it needs. And if you remember, Shewon, this same venue, this same show, I assured you, when you put the question to me, that was the PDP ready to get out of the problems that we sort of encountered a couple of weeks ago. And I told you that, Shewon, PDP is built with a lot of shock absorbers as Fulukom, if you want to use the right uh, balance, <laughs> a, a Fulukom. A Fulukom is solid. You can, see, you can see our convention. There was really no contest at the convention. There was more of consensus. People, it, it, it sort of flowed from the spirit of Nigeria. That, Listen, just get your act together. So when I fly through the airports, anywhere I go, I just got back from Lagos from the convergence that Yaga had 3.0. So everywhere I went, from the hotel lobby guys to people say, PDP, please, just come back. We need you people to come and, come and take back Nigeria. Come and rescue us. Everybody's asking for PDP. They don't even understand where we, where we are today. So as of 2014, there was a list that came out that had the 10 most profitable places to invest or countries to invest in Africa. Nigeria was sitting at number two, just right behind South Africa. That same list came out a few months ago. Nigeria is not even on the first 20. It's not even on the front page anymore. So we have lost our place of reckoning as a country. And... I think it's, it's because we have an inexperienced set of people running a political party that does not even function as a political party that are the helm of our affairs, who seem to be unable to coordinate themselves to take this country mm. where it's ought if you to say be that, with the kind of resources, <clears throat> if, if if kind say of resources that, that if we, say we have that, as a country. If you say that, I mean, it's actually debatable from the point of view of those to whom you are referring to the APC. Well, they will tell you that the PDP led Nigeria into the rut of 14, uh, 16 years, and that's what they are trying to fix. Shown data that that's doesn't rot, lie. That Shown. that's the rot. Just a moment. That that's the rot that's led the country to this point, and that's that's the conversation that the APC will give you. So, uh, um, one thing I have become very certain of in, in in life is the consistency of data. It doesn't lie. Our GDP at the time. When these guys took over our 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 debt profile when they took over our mortality rates our happiness rating in the world our poverty index as it as it were from 2014 to date show the data is not lying the data is all showing that we've we've gone 25 years back show out of 2014 2015 our debt stock was about 
let's say nine between nine and eleven trillion. Today it's almost thirty something trillion, thirty eight, as at the last time I checked. And you think that one should remain as a as a as as a, a citizen of this country and be happy. So within the last six weeks, do you know what has happened to Nigeria on the international scene? We've been put on a red list. We had no business being on. And the kind of response from even our red, foreign office... Red, red list because of, of, so, of COVID-19. Yes. So, and I, I'll tell you something. When China, when, when COVID, when the first SARS virus was discovered to have emanated from China, they didn't suffer the kind of repercussions we suffered with this red list, putting us on the red list. I feel that we should have come up with a very... I'm hearing that they're planning to retaliate. Right now, we do not even have a direct flight from Dubai to UAE to Nigeria. We already have issues there. And think, you know, the thing that amazes me about this government is that they don't even think about the implications of their actions on businesses. Twitter is still suspended in Nigeria. This was a means that Nigerians who had, the governments had failed in the last six months, six years, had failed them totally, had seen an alternative with Twitter to raise income. The Nigerian government banned Twitter because of So invariably, you are saying that your party seems to have found its voice and perhaps fixed itself and ready to help Nigeria. Is that what you're saying? So, uh, PDP has its poised as a party in government in waiting. There's nothing that can be said. Nigerians are just waiting for, in fact, all we're waiting for and, and hoping, like you said, that the president will sign. In fact, we've started seeing tricks of them saying he refused to accent to the Electoral Act Amendment, which we know he hasn't, and we know that we're hoping that he will sign so that we can have an election where Nigerians clearly give APC the red card they need to. They got it in 2019, as far as I'm concerned, but let us even just emphasize it in 2023. Let us be clear to everybody that. Thank you very much. You have come. We have seen. When you came, we had dollar at 190. Right now, dollar is at 540. The pound was at 250. Today, it's 710. Which is, I, I cannot even understand how, so, how a government could be so careless as to lead the country into where it is today. Insecurity. You cannot even, you know, I keep saying this, and I think I've gotten the right word for it. The, the mental state of Nigerians when they travel the Kaduna Abuja Expressway. And we're going to have a lot of mental uh, issues. So we need to be prepared for the future because this government has created a lot of, a lot of health issues right. that Nigerians will face in the future because of the carelessness let me, let me, of let how me. it has handled yeah. its, its affairs. So you've been talking about your, your neighbors, the APC. <laughs> let me allow Ali Abdullah, who has since joined us. Ali Abdullah uh, is a chieftain of the APC and a lawyer. Thank you so much, Ali, for joining us. It's good to, to see you again. Thank let you, me start sure. by asking, you heard what Senator Uchai you said, that the APC should start preparing the hand of notes. And uh, they've somewhat shown you, uh, because I wouldn't say it's a red card, somewhat like a yellow card, because uh, this game of this half is not over until 2023. Um, first and foremost, let me get your view on what Senator Yocha you said. Oh, all right. Uh, thank you, Sean. Uh, I read what he said in the uh, meeting or convention. Or I don't even know what is it, but uh, you see the, the irony of the entire thing of what uh, the chairman of PDP said is, is actually not lost on some of us. And even it shouldn't be lost on Nigerians. If you are someone who is following the happenings of thing, on, on things in this country, you know very well the antecedents of everyone in this game. Senator Ayu is among the people today in this country who has actually helped in plunging this country to where we are in the very aspect of the insecurity that everyone is crying today. It's on record that he is one of the recipients of the Dasuki's Get Money, a $2.5 billion that was actually meant for the purchase and procurement of arms to prosecute the war on insurgency you, and other... You, you have evidence to that? Yes. 
he yeah, has actually confessed to that. <laughs> that <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's you can check it right here. I can actually show you on my phone. He confessed to that. Uh, he that said one? he collected the oh, sum I mean. of three hundred and forty-five million from Dasuki. Who is who, who? Who is who was the national security advisor then? Actually. And the Suki was standing trial and still standing trial over that issue of the money that was actually meant to purchase arms, mm -hmm. which was actually squandered, frittered away by PDP, by the then government of because former President Jonathan. I mean, interestingly, you are a lawyer. Yes. And you know the implication of speaking, uh, talking about people and talking about exactly. figures. I, I, I and if it's not of sensation. Uh, not I stand by what I said. This is something that he, he himself has confessed. <laughs> he said he collected this money to actually offer you, consultancy. You heard him say that? You heard of course. Him? Of course. You can just Google it now and check it. He confessed to, 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 to checking it. He said he offered services as a consultant to politics, that he has some special skills when it comes to politics and politicking in this country. And it is in that vein or on that basis that he collected a sum of 345 million that was meant to actually prosecute the war on insecurity in this country from Samba Suki, who was then the National Security Advisor. I don't know when but, but the Samba Dosuki... Though, so, uh, I, I'm not very looking to uh, th uh, that conversation, so I wouldn't want it's, to... It's a public knowledge, what... and he has, he has actually mm. confessed to that. It would be good so that if, if, not... if that is substantiated. It I don't is have the facts beyond the reasonable doubt. But, and you see, but so the, let question, me the question is, yes. is your party threatened about a statement oh made by God. the new chairman of the of the PDP, I, I, I don't, I don't think that so. you and guys should why. start preparing your your hand over notes. I don't think so, and this is why. And you see, of of course, sometimes it's only natural and normal for people to forget where they're coming from. And we are here, some of us, who will not be tired of reminding Nigerians where we were coming from, and even the reasons some of the reasons largely why we found ourselves where we are today here and it's largely due to the actions of pdp there is no any single doubt about this 16 years this country failed to invest in development this is the reason why we are witnessing what we're witnessing today Sheun. Let's face it, people just don't start, just don't jump up to go into criminality. Why are we where we are today? It's a development question. Much as it is a security concern, but it's at the, at the root of it, it's a development question. And if we don't tell ourselves the truth as Nigerians, to find the actual root cause so that we can work towards solutions, we will never be able to find the cure of what we're facing today. Mm. So but let so, me tell you. So, so Ali, um, is your party as marketable today as it was in 2014? See, it is. And it's a, it's a different ty type, type of marketing that will happen. Are you afraid that the PDP will give you a run for your money in 2023? It's afraid not the right word. If, Are you worried? I, I, Are will you concerned? My, I will speak for my own self. Are you concerned? I think that you only, have a tough time in 2020. I think it's only natural. One shouldn't actually, you shouldn't even discard, to be honest, you know me by now, Sean, a lot well. Just like he, uh, Tony Ahilebo, knows me, <laughs> I, I speak the truth and I will tell you how it is. See, oh. it will be foolhardy for anyone to say they would not be concerned about an opponent in any uh, race whether be it game, be it politics, you, you will have to actually be concerned about someone who is opposing you. Yeah, you're concerned basically because the promises you made and what you have delivered, is that what, cons what gives you worry? No, not really. Let me tell you what. You think Nigerians are satisfied. What, what, what no, just a moment. You think Nigerians are, 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 are satisfied with what you sold to them and what you have delivered today? Well, the jury is out yet, that's number one. And secondly, well, you see, you cannot win it all. You cannot win them all. Some 
may actually see through the lines of the the proper propaganda machine that PDP, the opposition, is deploying. They will see the actual work that is being done. Some they will have their the a bell over their eyes and if they don't have people like us to help remove those bills they may not see the difference and the work so that is the situation that is where we are correct you don't think nigerians appreciate what you're doing in the apc and some, presently some, like, some naturally do they see the differences they see the gimmicks you know that the pdp are employing and all other enemies of this country, they see the clear demarcation. Some do, do not, and some of the work will actually reveal itself as time goes on. Should President, Bu I mean, of course, definitely President Buhari will not be on the ballot. Yes, but he's concerned is, for is his Is that a concern for worry for your party? See, it is not because just at, like we had, uh, we have President Buhari in 2015 and 2019, we still have other capable hands that will continue and even hopefully surpass the work that we started. The rebuilding of this country from the, actually, from the deep pit that PDP dug and put this country into. We, we, we are just rebuilding it. We just started the work. So the work will continue. And we hope the Nigerians will see that it actually it's painful let me tell you it's painful it's easier to destroy it takes a little bit of time to destroy everything but to build back it's always a Herculean that's what task. the apc i mean the pdp said they want to do that's it they said they want to rebuild this country someone that destroy cannot be a builder let I'm me allow you, you to come back so, to the so I, I think um, I, I do not hold brief for the national chairman of pdp dr yota are you senator so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications in that way you'll be able to know when i upload a new video share my videos leave your comments in the comment section constructively until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.